Let's bring in News Nation correspondent Brooke Schaefer and former CIA agent, and former FBI special agent Tracy Walder. Tracy, it's good to have you back on the show. Uh, Brooke, it's good to have you for the first time on the show. Uh, what do we understand about this now? Yeah, Chris, still so many unanswered questions really about these two moms that disappeared. But like you said, we're starting to get sort of a glimpse into the investigation. Officials in Oklahoma just a few hours ago saying that they now suspect foul play. They said that they have some evidence from that abandoned car, leading them to believe that foul play is involved in the disappearance of these two moms. But I can tell you, I called investigators right after we got that update because I wanted to ask them about what evidence they found in that car. We're hearing a lot of rumors here in Hugoton, Kansas. This is the city where those two moms live. Some people here have said that they heard there was blood around that abandoned car. I asked investigators about that because, again, that's what we're hearing from a lot of people here. Officials, though, so far not able to answer that question about what evidence they found, leading them to believe there's foul play in all of this. What's the status of the kids? The kids we're hearing are with the paternal grandmother. She's the one who has custody here. Um, and every Saturday, mm -hmm. the mom, Veronica here, is allowed visitation every Saturday. She was going along with Jillian to see the kids. Um, we've heard from a couple people here in town that Veronica's kids are not aware of what is happening right now. But we're right. hearing that they are safe and with their grandmother right now. Okay, so Tracy uh, and Brooke, if I get something wrong, just jump back in. But Tracy, you got three scenarios. You got Thelma and Louise. Uh, you've got a monster in the midst, and you've got the other person involved in the custody dispute, who's the husband. Uh, obviously, you start with the husband or the father, or whatever the status is. Uh, there's a big question mark around him. What do you make of it? Well, thank you so much for having me again. And really, I do think you're absolutely right. You really start with the husband and sort of work your way out. It's my understanding um, that he is in, in rehab and he needs to be there for the next six months. We would know from law enforcement if he's been released, but they may not be telling us that um, at this point in time. Also, the location of where this car was found is extremely remote. And, you know, Brooke was mentioning that it looked like there may have been foul play. And there's two scenarios there. Is there foul play that made them get out of the vehicle? Did they get in some kind of an accident? Did someone ram their vehicle? Or is there foul play in terms of something that happened to them inside the vehicle? What made them pull over? And I think that's really the key there. And based on the remoteness, this has to be targeted. I just don't see this happening in an urban setting, sort of a random act of violence. I really do think this is targeted. Well, it's absolutely what you're looking for in terms of opportunity, right? The more remote, the better uh, in terms of if somebody did this intentionally. A little weird to you, Tracy, that the family and loved ones are so quiet when there's a search to find these two moms? So, yes and no. You know, in some of these missing persons cases, you know, you're absolutely right. We do hear a lot from the families because they are trying to locate their family member. In this situation, it sounds like the families have been asked to remain quiet and not speak to media. This is just my hypothesis, but some of the reasons that this could be is that members of the family are under investigation. And that really points to our theory that this may be someone close to these individuals. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.